Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. As you might know, our company focuses on, on indoor shrimp farming and outdoor shrimp farming. And one of the problems using indoor shrimp farming is that the color of the shrimp is usually lighter as what you see over here. Of course, there are actually commercially available feed additives that you can add in to improve the color, but it's usually at a very high cost. So in this video, I'll be showing everybody how can we improve it without the use of this feed additive and what actually constitute to that color differences or color improvement in farm shrimp, whether it's in an indoor or outdoor condition. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. For those who are new to our channel, do like and subscribe because we actually produce weekly content with regards to shrimp farming and market farming and we actually show everybody the latest technologies that's out there so that you can actually apply it on your farm and help you to improve survival and yield. So do like and subscribe. So a few weeks back, we actually uploaded a video on two of the tanks that we've been working on. So actually two of them is running on a RAS systems. So you can see the first tank over here that you see on our left, it actually consists of a standard RAS system that does not contain any planktons or any even substrate. So the tanks are just bare bottom glass tanks that you see over here. Of course, he had his own filtration system, which keeps the water clean and in good culturing conditions such as ammonia. On the other hand, we have another tank that has also the similar rust systems, but on top of that, we actually added in a bit of substrate such as soy and some driftwood and even some plants which you see over here. So the general idea is that the filtration system is supposed to take care of the water quality, but on top of that, the shrimp can also play around with the substrate or the driftwood that is usually present if you're in a pond farming condition because it's very common to get uh, some of these in your pond. So as you can see, for both tanks, both shrimps are able to grow properly, mold properly, and even uh, grow up to a, a, a bigger size. Uh, in, this, in this experiment, we actually use a two-week period to try to get differences in the color of the shrimp. So this is actually the first few weeks of the first week of the experiment. You can see that either for both tanks a whitish in color. So keep to keep the experiment constant, we have actually used the same brand of feed for both tanks, and we're actually using a 42% uh, premium feed, and we actually put them on these trays and let them feed until they absolutely have more than enough. So this is to make sure that the feed doesn't cause a variation in the performance later stage. So what you can see over time, you know, with these tanks, we actually manage to monitor their feeding behavior and there's not a lot of huge difference between the feeding rate between both tanks, despite the addition uh, substrate. Uh, however, it's uh, important to mention that some of the tanks, you know, we actually have some insect that actually went into the tank because of the lighting and the shrimps have also have some supplemental feed, but you know, it's not significant and not all of them uh, manage to get this. So actually we ran this experiment for uh, two weeks and you can see this time lapse taken over a period of two days for both tanks uh, the first using substrate and the second uh, is just simply a clear water tank you can see the shrimps also being active uh, the whole day and we actually also add in supplement light and this actually was the result that we've gotten at the end so the shrimp on the top actually shows a shrimp that doesn't have any substrate and the shrimp at the bottom which is darker has actually the substrate added into it uh, in terms of length they're about the same and similarly we can see another picture of the shrimp has that has substrate it looks a bit darker so and this is actually significant for all of the shrimps that we we put in the tank so this actually shows that how substrate and how phyto uh, even plants will actually in impact the color of the shrimps so hopefully you guys like this video and if you like this information we will try to run more experiments so that everybody can learn from this so hope to see you back again mm -hmm.